Hey bunnies. It's been a while. I don't know how long exactly, and I don't know when I'm gonna finish editing this video, so my assumption is it's been at least a month since you've seen a video from me. Um, I have been streaming, not regularly, but I have been streaming. And a few, uh, about a month ago, I did say I was going to upload a video explaining what's going on with everything. Um, and so here I am. Basically, I got a job because I need money. Because, um, obviously I can't make money off YouTube or Twitch really at the moment unless you guys, like, subscribe specifically. And I don't want to take your money if you don't think that I'm worth the content. I don't have that kind of backing to be able to do new exciting things um you know my computer's pretty old now it's not enough to play good games i don't have the money to like buy new games so i understand that the issue though is that now i'm working i only have three days a week to do anything basically i'll, I'll give you a quick rundown on, on what my day is like on my working days. So basically I wake up, clean the house, I do my exercise, which it usually takes about like an hour and a half. I do 30 minutes cardio and about like an hour, a bit less than an hour of whatever day it is, arm, leg, uh, ab. So that's a thing. Um, it means that after that I go to work. Then I come home for like an hour, eat lunch, go back to work and then I end up back at home at like 9 10 p.m. it's bedtime I need to wake up at the same time the next day so that means that on those days I literally just can't do anything I can't stream I can't record I can't edit and that means that not only you're not getting fresh YouTube content which is what my goal was for this year to give you fresh YouTube content that isn't that you know just it isn't just edited streams right and I said I was gonna take a take up streams to a backseat kind of thing uh, and do that a little bit but not as much. The issue that I'm facing at the moment is I can't even edit the streams to get your Apex videos and stuff out. Um, which is an issue. Uh, basically, I also want to stream to the point where I'm still an affiliate and to do that I need to stream seven days? No, I think it's eight days. Um, a month, which means that I need to stream every day that I'm almost every day. That's my weekend, basically my three-day weekend. Um, otherwise, I I think potentially I can lose my affiliate status, or at least I'm not getting the affiliate status uh, statistics, which might push me down the list on Twitch's end. So I basically have to stream every day to keep doing that, and I also want to be editing YouTube videos and I also want to be recording YouTube videos and I also want to be working on my game which if you aren't aware I uploaded a game to Itch.io it's not complete it's got a few bugs at the moment actually um that I've been trying to like slowly flatten out and it's it's getting there it's actually it's it's a game I I'm I'm enjoying how it's how it's going uh visually it's not there yet so if you're expecting a, a very pretty horror game, you know, one that you can be like, oh, that's crazy, and oh, that's scary, it's not going to be that yet, but it's getting there. Um, there's a link in the description if you want to play it. It's free, but you can donate money to help continue the, pro the project. Um, but yeah, basically I have three, three days to do everything each week, and I'm not getting that done. So basically I took a day off from streaming to record some videos. I'm going to try and record one in the Insider, and I'm going to try and record something else as well. Uh, and then I'm going to try and edit it down, and then upload it for the week. Maybe like three episodes, three like videos to come up. Um, but yeah, basically I'm sorry that I haven't been doing any of my content as frequently as I want to be. Um, I do want to spend a time working on like a separate game, like have a kind of a self game jam, that if, if that makes sense, because I think that'd be pretty fun, just like a self kind of forcing myself to see if I can produce this game, right? And then I could like upload it to ETO or whatever, and it'd be fun just like playing like this game that might not be finished, but might be fun. Um, and it means I can try out new concepts and that kind of thing, because like I said in my uh, Don't Copy Me video for the game design stuff, um, 
I'm learning as I'm going the different ways to produce games. Um, at the as at the end of this moment, there was a bug that I had in my game, and I fixed it because I realized that I don't need a lot of things that I was putting in there because I could do it a separate way, which was faster for the computer and faster for like me. So I did it that way and then everything's more streamlined and I've just had to like rewrite code three or four times. Eventually I'll get to the point where I will have a set of skills that I will apply to every game that I think are the skills that are the easiest way and potentially the best way to do the things. But until that time, I'm gonna have to rewrite code a lot. Um, because that's one big issue with not going to like a university to learn these things is that if I'm trying to do something, I can ask someone who's already been through it to go, hey, what would you recommend for implementing this mechanic, right? And they can say, oh, do this, it's faster, it's less, less uh, taxing on your CPU, that kind of thing. Um, at the moment, for instance, my game does not use any sort of object pooling, and the fact that it randomizes almost everything means that I would benefit a lot from object pooling, and I didn't even know about object pooling, really. Um, I had no idea how it worked. I've heard the concept, like, just hearing people talk about how it works, but I didn't know how to do it, and I looked it up, and it seems fairly easy, just don't destroy objects, just disable them and stick them in the closet for a little bit till you need them. Essentially, that's how that works. Um, it's not that difficult. You just go, hey, this object, I'm gonna say no. And then it's saved, basically. It's just on the field, but not being used, rather than deleting stuff. So basically what I would do is at the start of the game, I would load all of the game objects that I would use. So all of the different files, or Absurdium would load in, all the different enemies would load in, and then I would have a maximum enemy count for each thing. And then it's fine. It would be like, oh, you know, 10 guests can be spawned at once. These t Every time we leap, destroy a guest, it'll instead of destroying it, just like disable it and hold it somewhere else. So then we can not, you know, slow down people's computers a lot. What have I touched on? I got a job, which means, I, well, first off, that's important. I got a job, which means I can now get money. I have some money saved now, which is potentially enough to buy a fan for my streaming PC. My streaming PC is overheating a little bit when I'm streaming, which could be the reason that it's having a bit of stuttering. Uh, it also could be a power issue though. And either way, I think I have enough money to either get a fan or get a new power supply. So, one of those things could help us out and I'm I'm keen to see if it will and I'll be keen to see if the streams look better because of it. Another thing is that I can potentially buy new games. I probably won't for a while. I'm pretty heavy on Apex at the moment. Streaming Apex has just been very fun. Um, I'm keen to finish Yakuza on stream as well so then I can start doing my solo let's play of Call of Cthulhu. I, up, I recorded a first episode almost three, four months ago. I haven't edited it yet even, but I recorded it um, to be edited for when Yakuza finishes and I can just upload that and then start streaming and then upload the streams. Um, I'll just be doing like an hour of Call of Cthulhu or have an hour stream, uh, play an ad, make a coffee, have another hour stream, play an ad, probably not make a coffee because then I might die. But yeah, so Indie Insider, I want to up upload that more because that was the big thing, that's the reason my YouTube channel got bigger, I would say. Um, the biggest reason for that is the Indie Insiders. Uh, big shout out to like Barry's Meat was one of the, I think still one of the biggest videos on my channel. I can actually look that up right now because you're not looking at my screen. Yes, Barry Has a Secret is the top viewed get, uh, video on my channel still uh, with 2,500 views, which is just, I mean, I like it. It's also got the most average view duration from any of my videos with more than 10 views. So people not only are viewing it, but they like the video. And I think that's the thing. The Indie Insiders have a lot better view duration. A lot, of people, a lot more people are watching it, like rather than just clicking it and going eh, which I like. That's something that me as a YouTube creator loves to see that people not only clicking on my videos, but they're watching them and enjoying them. Um, that also is implied by likes and things. I want to do more Indie Insiders because showing other game creators of my level 
is good to me. Like, it's like, hey, this is something I'm doing and I want you to succeed just as much as I want myself to succeed kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, which, speaking of, someone asked if I could play their game from Itch.io, uh, and I tried. There was a bit of an issue with the Itch.io thing. They couldn't upload the whole game because I think they have HD, HD, potentially 4K models on their stuff, and I'm not a fan of having to download, like, 3 gigabytes of a game that isn't fully released yet. Like, my game is only 100 megabytes, and that's including all of the audio files that are in the game. Like, all oh, I've got like audio libraries that I haven't edited out. Um, I think that might be the same issue. They downloaded like a texture mod and like a texture pack and they just haven't used any of the textures potentially. Um, I'm gonna try and play that game on Indie Insider for the next game because I tried uploading it and then I realized that it was the wrong game. There is also a new, what's the game called? I've forgotten what the game's called. Tut Triton Survival. I'm sure you've seen, I think I have two videos of Triton Survival. The creators, I'm not sure if they, if it was an automated email or if they intentionally emailed me, but they, it basically was like, hey, you've played this before, I would love to see you play the new version. Um, I was a bit shocked because I kind of saw them a new one <laughs> in their last two videos, but I'm going to edit that down at some point too. It's less of a me insider and just like a try and survival uh, update content video, I would say. Yeah, so I think that's it for my rambling. Um, again, very sorry that I haven't uploaded on YouTube in it forever. Um, please check out my streams on the twitch.tv forward slash epic bunny with a Q instead of a P to see more like of me if you're missing out on like if you're like, oh, I really wish I could see more videos, more content. Twitch is usually if I can't upload a video, I have to stream to Twitch because it's, I don't have to edit anything. Um, it means that like, you can actually see something. Also, please check out my game if you haven't already. If you like horror games, I know I play lots of indie insider horror games. A lot of my viewers are here from those indie insider horror games. If you like horror games and you want to support indie horror games, please check out my game in the link down below. I think it's itch.io slash absurdium underscore zero. I might be wrong about that. I might flash it up in the, the, the text here. But yeah, I will see you in the next Indie Insider or on Twitch, depending on where you see me first. And uh, yeah, bunny out. See you in the next one.